green flag in the air. Deke McCaskill gets away with the lead at the completion of lap number one. Ty Gibbs there in the middle of it. He's looking for second on Bobby McCarty. Charlie Watson there trying to make his way forward. He was up to 17th after starting in the tail. Also documenting the climb of Josh Berry. He's not moved up much. He's in 19th spot. There you see him peek into the frame. Meanwhile, there's Sam Mayer. All over Randy Renfro and Dylan Wilson on top of him. Things are getting racy. There's Alex Fleming. And look at this race for the lead now. Bobby McCarty underneath the Deke McCaskill for the race lead. 20 laps complete. New leader, Bobby McCarty. And now Deke McCaskill's got to find a way to the bottom. Up the racetrack goes Deke. Can he find a hole? He does in front of Brandon Pierce. Let's look at this. Now two and two. Pulliam, Riggs, McCaskill, and Mayer train a little bit of pain out of turn number four. Dylan Wilson likes what he sees. That gives him a chance maybe to get a spot away from Bradley McCaskill. Whoa, McCaskill tried to throw the block on Dylan Wilson. Just about spun himself out. Caution is out. We got one stopped off turn number four up against the wall. That uh, Bobby McCarty, Ty Gibbs. Into turn number one. And we're off and racing yet again. Oh, up the hill goes Gibbs. Pierce thought he found a hole, had to back off. That's going to allow Deke McCaskill maybe to slip on through. So if you're scoring at home, if we get to a competition call, watch out Cody Haskins and Ty Gibbs. Contact, turn three. Big problems, turn four, Alex Fleming goes around. Green flag in the air, and we're off and rolling yet again. Whoa, three wide, down the back straight away. That might not work, boys. A bit of contact, Lane Riggs, Brandon Pierce. Riggs gonna shove his way through there. Well, I don't think Brandon Pierce or Lane Riggs just made a friend out of Brandon Pierce. Bradley McCaskill tried to do the same thing. Oh, a little bit of shove there. More casual contact between Zach Marks and Bradley McCaskill. Meanwhile, there you see that battle. As Pulliam now was wheeling the top side like a pro, lost one spot, now in danger of losing two. All over Cody Haskins, and there's Bradley McCaskill trying to get by Brandon Pierce. Meanwhile, battle for second in turn number three. There goes Deke McCaskill underneath Cody Haskins. Move Deke to position number two. Randy Renfro has made his way to the pit lane. Tyler, oh, watch out, turn one. Sam Mayer just about wheel hopped it right into lane rigs. Great catch by both drivers. That was near catastrophe. Lane Riggs not too happy about it and told him in turn three. Off turn number four. Final competition caution of the night is over. And Bobby McCarty leads him back into turn number one. It's about to pick up here at Wake County. Three wide, turn three. Bradley McCaskill, what a move. And here goes Sam Mayer for the race lead. New leader, turn two, Sam Mayer. Where did he come from? Lane Riggs is up in the middle of that one. Ty Gibbs has turned up the wick. There's Josh Berry trying to move his way forward. That's for position number 11. Gets around Zach Marks. So Berry nearly cracking the top 10 as his teammate Sam Mayer leads the way. So Lee Pulliam flash by. There he is. Cody Haskins back sliding as now Dylan Wilson tries to get underneath the hill. There's Berry now who has cracked the top 10. All of this happening way behind leader Sam Mayer, who has opened up about a one second gap over Bobby McCarty, who's got another half second back to third place, Deke McCaskill. This right now, one of the best battles on track. Bradley McCaskill in the 07, trying to get around Ty Gibbs. That's Josh Berry in the double A, who contact. Ty Gibbs around turn number four. 
and that'll slow us with 35 laps to go. Green flag in the air off turn number four. Sam Mayer leads the field back into turn number one. Whoa, contact between Lane Riggs and Bobby McCarty. Deke McCaskill now claims second. Problems turn two. Dylan Wilson goes around. Dylan, what puts you out? Uh, Radiator. Just uh, unfortunate. I, I mean, I, I would be pissed and try to wreck me too, run all over me if I was getting my ass kicked by a limited as well. Uh, it's fun racing with guys, but God dang. I mean, it's still 25 to go, so I don't know. I mean, we had a hell of a day. It was fun. You know, it feels good to go out there and run top six with them. And, but uh, to get taken out like that, uh, that's very unfortunate. So, you know, you ain't going to get a break. I understand it's a bull ring, but there's always next time. I got a good memory. Deke McCaskill alongside through the start box. He'll trade pain on the way to turn number one. Neck and neck into turn number three. McCaskill going to nose ahead briefly. At the stripe, new leader Deke McCaskill with 34 laps to go. He's forced to give away, though. He'll find a hole back behind Sam Mayer now. Everybody else, two by two by two, top two single file. And look who's in third. Lee Pulliam has made his way back from the depths of the back of the top 10, and he's now up to P3. He'd finish on the podium if it ends here, but Bobby McCarty says not so fast, son. There's Josh Berry now all over Bobby McCarty. That's for position number four. What a drive by Josh Berry. Oh, contact off turn two between the pair. Contact again in turn three. Josh Berry says, out of my way, Bobby McCarty. Shoves him up the racetrack to take position four. And look at this battle for second. Deke McCaskill has got Lee Pulliam all up in his rear view mirror and now beside of him. Pulliam now to second with 28 to go. Josh Berry would love nothing more than to fall suit. And look this, Josh Berry all over Lee Pulliam for position number two. Your leader started 10th. Your maybe second place guy, now second place guy, Josh Berry, started last. Who says you can't pass at Wake County Speedway? You certainly can, and now the leader's in traffic. Sam, teammate Josh Berry's not going to be a problem. Off of turn four. Oh, turn four, problem, Sam Pacino around. Caution is out. This race is not over. Off turn four. Sam Mayer and Josh Berry to the Jericho Performance Restart Zone. Hey, with two laps to go, it's an all Junior Motorsports front row. Here comes Lee Pulliam. Sam Mayer slams the door in his face. Lane Riggs now up to third as Berry's been shoveled back to fourth. White flag in the air. We will race back to the checker. Sam Mayer pulls away from Pulliam by a car length and a half. He drives it into turn three straight, and Sam Mayer is going to win his first Cars Response Energy Tour race here at the Wake County Speedway, outwitting and outlasting Lee Pulliam for his first career win. What a job by Sam Mayer. We'll go trackside and chat with him momentarily. Did. It's an amazing feeling. I feel like I got a huge burden off my chest. We got a huge win at Hickory, my first one in the late model stock. And this just, this tops it off and just, it's awesome, man. 